Hi everyone. I wanted to talk about organizing. Summer's a great time to organize. And if you kind of look around, you can see where your problem areas are. For me, I know I go horizontal. I spread. And when I have finished all of that space, I add another table and spread onto that or the kitchen island or whatever it is. So I, I know that my problem is I go horizontal. And so I want to kind of challenge you to think about what do you do and how can you store things vertically that will take up less space. So we're going to talk about that and just a few little changes that we can make to kind of help you tweak what you're doing and help you to stay more organized so that you can put things away just as fast as you can bring things out. It's always fun to bring things out, right? It's not as fun to put things away. And that's what got me into trouble. So for over 30 years, that I've been scrapbooking, I was in a little closet space. I had just a small little area to keep my supplies and my projects and everything. And so I would stack and I would buy little containers, you know, that were modular that I could keep stacking on. But then I'd have to unstack to find the things that I needed. It was just how I had to operate. A lot of us work in a very small space. And so it has its problems, right? It's a little tricky getting things back to the right place. And so when one of my kids moved out, I thought, well, why don't I use that room as a craft space? And that was life changing. So if you're still stacking in a closet, I get you. I was there for a very long time. If you have a designated scrap space, most of us have a smaller space and you need to take advantage of every square inch of that space. I'm now in a very small bedroom and one wall is a closet. The opposite wall has big windows and shutters. So basically I have the two side walls that I can work with and a little area behind the door. Okay. So I'm with you. I'm trying to maximize my space and kind of clean up my area and see what I can do. So I thought it would be fun to do that together. I ended up with three different bins of paper. And sometimes that's ha that happens, we get a lot of paper, right? But then I had to go three different places to see what I had. And then it didn't all fit in the same closet. You know what I'm saying? It just gets complicated. And maybe you're trying to clean up fast and you just kind of stick some in a certain place. So, <sighs> Let's make it easier on ourselves, all right? If you haven't done this already, that's the first place you need to start is your paper. That's what we have the most of is paper. So having all your paper in one place, that's the first commitment I hope you have made or are making to yourself. The second is tools. And I will talk in detail about paper organization in a future video, but tools is what I want to talk about today because I purchased some units from Stampin' Storage and I looked at them for a long time before I bought them because they are pricey, but I have no regrets. I wish I would have gotten them sooner. And right now they're having a sale on everything in the store is 15% off. And that may not sound like a lot, but it does add up. And so I only purchase when things are on sale. And I think there's a two day window here. This is their 4th of July sale and it will go until the end of the 5th. Um, and then periodically they have sales, but I try to buy on sale to maximize my buying power. But I love 
their supplies. The first one that I bought was a border maker cartridge unit. And I decided I would just buy one and check it out and see if I thought it was worth the money. Um, so I did. It's a freestanding border maker cartridge unit. And they have two styles. One is freestanding that you can just put on a desk or up against a wall. And another one you can actually nail into your wall. So the first one I got was a smaller one that would just be freestanding on my desk. And I thought, I'll just put in the cartridges that I use the most in this unit. And one thing that I really love is you get it in the mail and it is assembled for you. They are super sturdy and you can just pop it on your desk and start filling it up. Okay, there's an immediate satisfaction to that. So I started using it. I loved it. I decided, yes, this is worth it. I need to get more of these. And so I was always waiting for the next sale. And they do typically have one in the summer. There might be something in the fall. And, you know, like November-ish. Um, and I don't know if they do it the same every year. But just to have an idea... They usually do something in the spring, something in the summer, and something in the fall there. So <clears throat> I decided I wanted to get more, and so I waited for the sale, and I sold my unit to a customer, and she loved it. And then I bought some more that I could put on the wall because I could see right away I want more. I need more. I have more cartridges and I want it up off my desk space. Even the little, I think at the base is about four, four and a half inches. Even that can be a lot of space, right? And so I decided I want them up on the wall and, you know, talk to my husband about that because he would be the one nailing them in and, um, decided I would go for it. So the next time they had a sale, that's what I did. And I have three of them. And you can see there's some slots open for additional cartridges. I know I'm going to buy them, you guys. And what I love is that they're visual. So when Creative Memories comes out with a new cartridge, I just walk over to my wall and I look at what I have. I don't have to rumble through drawers and try to figure out, do, can I see all of them? No, I have to open this drawer and that drawer. So I can see them all. I, it just takes a few seconds to look over them and I can say, do I have anything like that? Would I like to use that? Do I have something that goes with that? It only takes a few seconds for me to know if I'm going to purchase that new one or not. So I want to love them. And I want to have different edges and different looks. And so that's my criteria, but it has made an amazing difference. So now I walk over, I use my cartridge, I turn around and I put it back. There is a little slot for the actual border maker system. And I can put it, you know, take all the pieces out, use it, put all the pieces back huge, huge difference versus having it on my table, losing things underneath paper, again, going horizontal instead of up here where I can see it out of my space. So I highly, highly recommend these. Um, they also have the option of coming in white. When I started, it was just the birch natural wood color. And I love that. I'm totally fine with that. But if you really want white, there is an option for that as well. Another option for you is the Creative Memories Tool Organizer and the Border Maker Inserts. This is less expensive and it's great for when you're needing to travel. If you take a lot of your supplies with you, then this option might be better for you. 
I have both actually. I have things on the wall and then sometimes I travel, but I'm finding I mostly scrapbook at home. So my stamp and storage units are working really well for me, but I do like having the option to travel if I need to. The Creative Memories Tool Organizer is less expensive and it does have these inserts that help to distribute the weight of the individual cartridges. So it's a nice option. And again, if you're going modular, it stacks nice. It has a zip up lid. It's nice. So only you know really what's best for you. But I just wanted to give you a few options, things you could think about Maybe you have a birthday coming up, you know, you could put something on your Christmas wish list. Just be thinking of how you can clear out your horizontal space and make things a little easier on you. The other thing that I've loved is the stamp and storage punch holders. They're very similar to the border maker cartridges, but they are sized perfectly for the Creative Memories punches. So you don't have to worry if they're gonna fit, they will. And again, it's very sturdy. It's made out of that nice birch wood. And you have the option to have those painted white as well. They came out within the last year or so with a carousel that spins. That's another option. I know the Border Maker cartridge carousel holds up to 80 cartridges. That's nice too. Um, I like mine so I can see everything at once. I don't even want to spin. But if you want a carousel that you can spin, go for it. It's there for you. They also have a punch holder carousel or the type that sits on the wall. So different punches are different. You can look online and you can see the dimensions and kind of, you know, decide what works best for you. And if you have an idea, if you have a great storage tip for your tools, I'd love to hear it. So please put that in the comment section below. I have links in the description box to the Stampin' Storage website and to my Creative Memories website. So I've made it easy for you. You can go right there. Next week, I'll be back with some more organizing tips so that we can spend more time scrapping and less time cleaning up, right? That's what everybody wants to do. Thanks for watching.